Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Salty Tales for another steak experiment. And today, it is all about resting and relaxing. Resting steaks has been an industry staple for a long, long time. Everywhere you go, cooks of all types will tell you to rest your steak for at least five minutes before you cut them. The minute you take the steak out of the pan or off the grill, you have to let it rest. Immediately following its removal from the heat, it should rest on the board, meaning sit there at room temperature for five to seven minutes. Be patient. Leave it alone for three minutes, and I promise you will be rewarded. And yes, I cut them before the recommended time and also after. And I can tell you that I see a difference. But I never stop to consider what is the perfect timing to cut your steaks and what really difference does it make. Now, this is my theory. Contrary to what people say, I think that when you apply heat to the meat, the juices don't come close to the surface at all. What you are seeing when you are sitting a steak, the thing boiling is on top of the steak, that's not too many of the juices that are escaping from it. Those are a little bit of the juices that are really close to the surface and a lot of the marbling and beautiful fat that the steak has. But the bulk of them will run away from the heat as the devil from the cross. <laughs> yes, I'm guilty of repeating what people say, but besides being a ninja, I'm also huge. Anyway, the heat will make the muscles of the meat contract and push all those beautiful juices towards the center of the steak. So they will push inside and concentrate and start boiling hot and sexy as hell. Summarizing, the juices of the meat will run away from the heat and concentrate in the coolest parts of the steak. That means the center and stay there during the process and the resting time is recommended for the muscles to relax and allow the juices to fall back into the original places and rehydrate the meat as the steak cools up. And still, I receive comments from people that don't rest their steaks at all or they rested for a long time. So today, we are making that experiment here and for that, we have these five beautiful steaks. These are all New York steaks, cut from the same strip and they are all one inch thick. I will try to time them out in a way that we can cut them all at the same time. So here we go. As always, I will season them with sea salt and pepper and set them to cook in the grill until the internal temperature gets to 120 degrees. I know I'm reverse seared the steaks and that will mean that the meat will be hotter when it comes out of the grill. And that is on purpose. Once all the steaks are cooked to perfection, it is time to start the experiment. Get your grill ripping hot and ready to sear the steaks. We're gonna sear each of the steaks two minutes per side and take them out. And now that we have it all ready, let the games begin. First steak will be seared and set to rest on a foil tent for 20 minutes. Second steak will be the same, but rested for only 15 minutes. The third steak goes into the searing and will be rested for 10 minutes after cooking. The fourth steak will be done the same weight and rested for only five minutes. And our last steak will be seared to perfection and cut right away. All right, and here we have our real hot steak, all right? It is, this is hot. Let's cut into it right away. All right, I'm just gonna put it here to the side and let's see what happened to this steak in a little bit. All right, there you have it, it looks really nice. Let's put it here to the side, 10 minutes. But I, I see the difference already, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see some difference here already. Okay. All right, I can see some difference here too. It's cooked to perfection. It's looking amazing. And again, you can see a little bit of a difference there. So let me rearrange everything so we can compare one next to the other right away. <laughs> all right, guys, as you can see, all the steaks are looking beautiful. I can see some differences. For example, this one, it's been about five minutes while I cut them up and put them all together. This one looks different than this one. But what I really want to know is on the taste. You know, when you bite into it, 
It's, it's good, it's different, it's better what it is. That, Miss we're Ninja. gonna try all of them? All of them. That's a lot of steak. Anybody want to take my place? <laughs> Miss Ninja, we're trying for juiciness okay. on the on the steak. Everything but flavor. We don't care too much about flavor here today. All right, number eight, guys. Okay. Oh, super tender. It's a good steak. It is. Number B. B. Hmm. Number A was more juicy. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, we have numbers in here. Let's give it a try and see. Good. <laughs> Even better than number B and number A. Better than number B and number A. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? D. Number D, guys. Was it similar to B? Right? Mm -hmm. I think it's like playing bingo here. All right, we have number E here. Let's give it a try. Good. All right, Miss Ninja, for you, which is the best one of all of them for you? D. Number D is the best for Miss Ninja. Yes, it is. And number C is the best for me. No way. I can see number C has a lot more uses inside. The color is a little bit different than anything else, but it's really good. Number D is, is really good too. And what happened with number E is that it's cold. Number A, which is the one, the first one, you guys know what it is, is a little dry. It's not a totally 100% dry, but it is a little dry. It feel, okay. I feel like you lose a little bit of juices. And number B is equal to me to number D. The 15 minute was my favorite. 15 minutes is great for Miss Ninja. What about number C? We, uh, 10 minutes for you, what about? Um, it was okay, but you know what? I like at the beginning number A too. She so. likes number A too. A and B, A and B, A, B. All right, Miss Ninja. Very well, so. What do you guys think? Let me ask you a question, man. <laughs> what? Did I make you hungry? Did he? If we made you hungry, you have to hit us with the like. Lots of Subscribe lots of to the channel and share with your friends Just and family. Do so. And let me know down there in the comments what do you think? What is the perfect term, the, the perfect timing for you to cut the steaks? What have you done any crazy experiments? Have you cut the steak right after it's been seared because you're really hungry and you didn't like it? Let me know everything down there in the comments. That's all for today. But remember that. I love you. Love you too. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. And let's eat. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Mr. Georgie. Georgie.